And then, let's see, this back here, I keep asking people what it is. <laughs> I think it might be some know whose house, but uh, somebody made this nice little house back here. So, but this is someone's house. I didn't notice that there was windows on the top there, that's kind of cool. Uh, but one of the one of the players <laughs> opened a store here, and so you can see there's all kinds of whoa. Well, there's water there. <laughs> Not quite sure what the idea of that is. I guess you pay. Oh, I see. You pay here, take items here. It's actually not too bad. That's interesting. Not sure what that's about. Maybe that's a waiting room. No, closed. Type store. Hmm. Okay. Anyway, cute little place. Um. And this is a nice little bridge. Um, I was really. One of the players, Martin, had said he was going to build a bridge, and I was kind of just more expecting kind of something. You know, just like a a straight line across the water here, or something that went over. Uh, but it came back, and this is what he had built, and looks pretty cool. Apparently, kind of an architect, I guess. Um, and with that, we'll go look at the other thing that Martin designed. And we have a nice big chunker. Look at that. That's our cave down there. That's part of our cave system. The nice thing about chunk errors, even though they're they're kind of annoying, is sometimes you can like sneak up on the side and you can look <laughs> and actually see things in the side. So I don't mind them all that much. <laughs> yep, just like that. And we have protection, so at the moment. Uh so we don't get blown up. Well, because of that. <laughs> I was right inside, so I was lucky. So here was one of our caves. One of our, well, mines, I guess. Not really caves. And it's a neighborhood person. Who's checking out our caves, I guess. This is Martin's motel. Waterhaven Motel, come in. So, go in here for room. So he's got some books there and some seating. A nice little office area. This is the pool that my husband really kind of designed. He had done one like this on his single player, and so uh, I helped him put this one together. And then when we put it all together, everybody had fun jumping in it. They had they had one that was that tall uh, up on the other side, and they were jumping off. And of course, when I jumped off, I died because uh, I s somehow missed the water. And I landed over here, funny enough, but um, not quite sure how that happened. But it's kind of pretty, and probably on the new server. I don't know, I figure we'll probably remake something similar to it. Probably a bigger one, yeah. It's pretty It's pretty nice, I like it. Um, I'll stand over here. Yeah, Martin's Hotel is huge. Uh, <laughs> so that that is it over there. And the pool was our contribution to his his hotel. Um, you can see he even has different rooms, like he has beds for everybody and chests. Um, I'm not quite sure what this is supposed to be, just a bathroom I guess. Shower, oh it probably is a shower, oh and look a little kitchenette and pretty pretty creative. I, I was really surprised. Just nice little, 
nice little setups. Even have art. No. So, anyway. That's enough of the hotel. No. Motel? Um, more rooms uh, similar no. on top. And there was oh. like... I think that might be his actual home or something is up there now. And here's his little garden that I'm not sure if he made or if one of the other players made. Uh, but a little garden. Um, this is our second greenhouse, so uh, my husband had built another greenhouse all on the other side of town. This was, back here was our original cave. Um, or mine, I guess I should say mine, since it's Minecraft. Um, over here is one of my favorites. Uh, my husband built this one too. This is the light tower. It's just kind of pretty. There's a so if we go down, we're actually in the harbor master's home. Um, harbor master and lighthouse keeper. Their house, which is found directly underneath the the lighthouse. And so we go up here. And up here, we can see, we have a pretty good view of the town from here. Nice high and safe. That's, that belongs to a neighboring town. And that actually over there is a neighboring town called Broden, Brodren. Um, but here, yeah. If I scoot back, maybe it'll look, there we go. So, yeah. So, Waterhaven, I will kind of miss you. You're pretty cool, but we'll we'll remake you. So, the other thing I wanted to go show people since it I'm actually not going to be able to finish it um before the server wipe. I had had these plans of uh, making this first church of Minecraft over here. Oh, I've never noticed bubbles around the animals in the water before. That's kind of funny. Um, so I had made this was the beginning of uh, the church, first church of Minecraft, and I had kind of put up signs so that nobody would go in because I wanted to surprise them, but. I don't think I'm going to get it done in time, so I will take you in, and it's not anything much um, yet. So this was just kind of the, I guess, foyer, I guess. And then I was going to put carpet down here. And I would started to, to get this all set up. Here's my red carpet that went down the side, and this was all going to be wood. Um, you can see the wool background. That was a lot of sheep, I tell ya. Um, and so here's, not the altar, but where the, where the preacher stands to talk, I guess. I thought it looked kind of cool with the little wood thing on there. And there's our cool, um, cross and everything for the church, and that was mostly because uh, one of the mods spawned that for us because we couldn't, we can't really go to the, the neither. So she spawned that and I thought that would look really cool there. So maybe I'll, I guess I have till Saturday until the wife, so uh, maybe I will try and finish it up a little bit before. Just because, just because. So that probably, oh wait, I have one more, one more thing. I didn't go into the other greenhouse. Oh, 
actually real quick. Um, since people work so hard on it, uh, there's this place over here, this little rail ra railway, and um, never did get to ride it. I kind of, but I know Tree Sunder and Sequoia and a few other people were working on this. Um, there we go. It's got some different different places in here. And so I don't know, it I guess it goes all the way to one of the other towns that I actually hadn't got a chance to go to yet. Um, so there's our lava side of the mountain. Some boarding house might have been in here. If I was, I apologize. I'll cut it out. Uh, so this is the kitchen, and we were keeping food and everything. Um, and so, yeah. So this is just we just had different rooms. I think I showed you ours. I think I may have stopped here. This was Mamer's original room uh, when he first came to help us. And he has a very nice view up here. And then this was Martin's room. He had quite the setup in here too. Not sure what I got what the glass was for. Maybe just a barrier there. But he made furniture to sit out on his porch and look out. And also a very nice view of the town. So, oh, it's nice at night. Okay, so actually I don't need to go down, I'll just jump here. This is the, the cactus farm. Uh, we just have an area that is marked off uh, just for the cactuses. We were growing those because we were going to use them to kind of make protection against some of the mobs at the borders of the town, but we just never never quite got there. Um, this is Waterhaven's greenhouse. And so I come in here. So this is the first thing that my husband worked on uh, when we got here, was to build this greenhouse so that we would be able to make bread and everything. And as you can see, everything's all ready. We've got a workstation over here um, where we keep like the hoe and, you know, the different things, seeds and stuff. And um, we, he's got the light going on and the water. He did a really good job. Um, it's pretty with the birch wood and everything. So I'm excited to be able to hopefully recreate some of this uh, on the on the new map and that over there is the neutral nation of Fox and already actually just did a video of their place last night um, and it came out pretty funny but it was pretty fun going through and I hope to be able to have the chance to do one of um, a 
couple of the other towns before for the wipe, so 